Uh, hip, hip resurfacing is a, is a procedure that's become more and more popular as, as we've found younger and younger patients are needing treatment for their arthritic hips. This is the resurfacing prosthesis which, which we just put on top of the femoral head or the ball of the hip joint and we fashion uh, the ball of the hip joint really to fit this prosthesis in and we don't really invade the femur bone itself. Whereas in a traditional total hip, we actually cut off the femoral neck and put this down the femur bone so that it gets anchorage, if you like, within the bone itself. Most hips will require revision after 15 or 20 years. We are just not good enough to make a hip that will last forever. And so if you're younger, we know we're gonna to have to do a revision. So we, it's much easier to, to revise a resurfacing than it is a traditional total hip. So it gives you, if you like, an extra bite at the cherry in terms of operating on your hip. The other real sort of advantages are that we use a large head, so the dislocation rate is probably lower. Uh, we use metal on metal, uh, which means that the wear is much better uh, in terms of that. The disadvantages of doing resurfacing really are that it's a much more difficult operation. And so there are very few surgeons around the country who still do it. Uh, we actually utilize uh, computer-assisted surgery to help us put the resurfacing in the perfect position, which is one of the things that we've found uh, can affect the outcome of that uh, replacement. So in terms of indications and who should have a resurfacing, in my opinion, it Young people under 65 are great candidates for resurfacing, assuming that their bone is strong enough to actually support the prosthesis.